Hey guys and uh, gals, uh, as per my analytics page, uh, thanks for stopping by. Here's going to cover some repairs uh, on the Oztent Foxwing 270 awning. Uh, I was away on the weekend with the caravan, uh, and I don't know whether you'll notice, but the caravan is not in the driveway because it's off getting some repairs. Uh, I buggered the awning on that, and you'll see that on the screen there. We had some pretty horrendous winds. Uh, unfortunately, the Foxwing also took a hit whilst I was setting it up. As you'll see here, what's happened is uh, during the setup process, when I was starting to pull this out, I was away camping and it was a little bit windy, but uh, not excessively. Um, I had undone the clips at the end and was letting this just drop down to grab the, uh, the lead, I guess, and start to pull this around. Uh, and it got a small gust of wind. And what you'll actually see here, hopefully I can get that out there, is one of these knuckles has actually just broken uh, and snapped off right at the pole. Uh, now the good news is these pieces can actually be picked up actually picked up too because I figured this might be a reasonably common sort of thing. Uh, this seems to be the weak point uh, of the whole mechanism itself. Probably a good thing because I guess if it snapped there uh, it stopped it from actually snapping uh, one of the poles or doing sort of further damage. The good news is that uh, because this broke setting it up and I have had it set up successfully and used it uh, in the past, so I don't want you to think that this is um, happening all the time. Classic there where that's broken and it's just snapped off right there. Uh, the good news is that because it was just a small amount of wind and I did pack it away, uh, you know, crack the shits with it and it was unuseful, obviously in this condition, so I did pack it back away. Um, and then a few days later, when I would have still had this set up while I was away camping, uh, we had a horrendous storm come through and it uh, absolutely just ripped off my caravan awning, uh, which is waiting for some insurance repairs there. And, uh, anyway, so what we need to do is get in and uh, undo this bolt here. I'm hoping to be able to leave these all in situ and not have to make any changes there. Just pull this out uh, and then refit the one in here. Now, one thing of note while we were packing this away, my friend did notice that this was the only one that actually has a screw in it. And it did look like it had some additional maybe glue or something here uh, so we're not sure whether this is because this was actually a second hand unit all but brand new when I got it uh, according to the material and stuff like that no reason to think it wasn't um, so I'm not sure whether the previous owner has affected a repair here and I hadn't realised uh, or whether that's just the way it is because placements themselves actually come with little screws which seem to match the one that's in there so what I've got on top here is just an allen key uh, which is a 6mm and then just a bolt on the bottom. You can actually replace all of these parts, what I've noticed on the website, and you can see here, uh, the C-channel, I guess that you call it, which has the cover, so you can buy new ones of those. You can buy the new bolts, I don't know about the frame, um, but you can certainly buy new ones of these, new poles, etc, uh, etc. Et so the good news is, if anything breaks on these, you can uh, get replacement parts. Whether the other parts are cost effective, I don't know. I didn't have a look at those. I only had a look at these parts. And again, they're around sort of uh, ten dollars, so uh, well worth the investment to, uh, you know, fix this rather than just tossing it out. So anyway, this wasn't tightened up very tight, and you can see that bolt is just going to pull straight out of there. So there's no real tension on that. Uh, there is a spacer there, so be a little bit careful with that. I guess it doesn't have the full depth of the actual hinges so that's interesting uh, maybe there's another there is another piece in the bottom okay so that mates up with so i have to be careful that that doesn't drop out we'll leave that in place lock that on the bottom uh, and a small washer so when you undo that bolt and take it off the bottom make sure you capture those otherwise you'll you'll drop those all right excellent all right so you can see where that's just broken off there but it's almost like there was bubbles in it or something uh perhaps that's a manif Factoring issue or something, uh, but obviously plastic, sun, Australia, 40 degree day, stuff like that. Uh, not much survives. Uh, the challenge is going to be getting this drilled out here, uh, but I've grabbed the drill. I'm just going to start drilling that out and hopefully it will just come out on its own. Okay, so something just to be aware of here. Uh, I did start off drilling out the small holes. Uh, probably a few mil, and ended up starting a drill bit in here. What I'm finding out, this stuff, whilst not typically hard to drill, um, creates a lot of friction, it really grabs hold of the drill piece, uh, or the drill bit, and heats up very, very quickly. So there's actually heat uh, in this section here as well. Uh, this, there's actually heat in this crossbar. Uh, so take your time uh, drilling these holes out. 
and, and have a little bit of a break in between because those drill bits are um, heating up very very quickly in this material okay so let me say that uh, drilling is not working um, whether there's some sort of adhesive or something in there that's holding that plastic in but I've drilled all but the whole lot out which is still not enough for the uh, new section to fit in so we're pulling out the big guns and by that I mean we're going to hit it with the heat gun see if we can soften that up a bit and uh, and then remove it that way because right now that, uh, we're not getting anywhere with this and you'll see I've stuck on gloves because I'm going to need to manage this and that's going to get uh, pretty warm I imagine okay so the heat didn't work exactly as we wanted to but what it has allowed us to do is it allowed us to separate the plastic uh, from the actual tube itself and what I'm now doing is pushing the remainder of that piece down this tube uh, and you can see these only need to go in probably two and a half inches or something like that um, so right now I'm just clearing the tube here uh, just pushing a screwdriver in and uh, pushing any remnants as far down as I can now it's not the ideal situation it's not the uh, result that I was hoping for if I want to get this refitted that's what I've got to do otherwise I've got to replace this whole bar here but, but for now we're going to jam it all down and uh, see if we can get that to uh, work like that so here we go so we've got this in here we've got the hole lined up just about to try and whack it in and uh, we'll see how far it goes hopefully it doesn't grab too tight if I need to pull it out and uh, make some more adjustments but and there we go pretty happy with that uh, it actually went all the way in luckily enough now I'm actually not going to put that screw in there um, I don't see any reason why there's nothing on any of the others so I really have to think that this was a replacement point uh, a replacement part that had been put in uh, there's no reason for that to go in there that's a tight fit I'm not pulling that back out uh, so right now I'm happy with that so we're just going to slot that back in now one thing to notice if you do have to do these is you can actually pull these up a little bit they don't come out of the material at the other end and that just gives you a little bit of room to work on it on this end so push that back in we'll line them up grab our pin with the spacer in it and hope we may need to adjust these because I have moved a few and there goes our bottom spacer uh, but that top one's all but in and just in relation to tidying these up obviously you just got your nut on the bottom which is a lock washer um, you don't want to do it too tight you can see that was probably about the tension that was on it so when I actually put that in there the whole lot rotates so it's not tied up uh, otherwise you're going to put tension on these and uh, you don't want that because they need to spin out so I may adjust that later on uh, once I start using it uh, if that's not enough tension uh, but for now I was uh, quite surprised how loose that was and that was about the same as what it was when I'd uh, undone it so leave a little bit of slack in that don't tighten it all the way up so that's it for today guys that was a real quick one just uh, a quick repair of the foxing awning cheers guys catch you on the next one